so welcome back to another tutorial on Clo 3D and in this tutorial we'll be creating a waistband but before we continue please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell to get more video on Clo 3D also you can also drop your question or video request in the comment section so that I can work or create video on that particular um, topic so now what I'll do now is to create um, where we attach the band to that's the band around the waist so first of all, we have to find out the um, circumference of the editor. It's very fast. Well, we just go to the avatar, avatar editor. Yeah, this is it. 825.5. So this is our circumference. So we're using this as measurement. Um, this is it. So this is what we do. 825.5. And probably let's use 40 for the 40 now. I am use 45. Yes, 45 should not be bad. Still loading. Yep, synchronizing. So next, we are going to go to the arrangement points. Uh, this is arrangement point. Tap on the. Um, yep. So this is it here. Arrangement point. So next thing we are going to stick both sides together. We do starting with um segment swing first. You can always get your segment swing here. Let me see. Yes, yeah. Any segment swing. That's the shortcut for segment swing. So you can go like this. Forty five. Uh, yep. Space bar. Yes. Perfect. So that's it. I stop the space bar. So the next thing you will do now is to um stitch or sew this together with this. So you can use free sewing. Free sewing shortcut is M, or you can come here for free sewing. This is it. M. So um, let's do this. I'm starting here. I like following the um direction I use for the. Hold on, shift two. I like following the direction. So I'm going to follow this backside direction, the same way I stitch this upside. So I'm starting from here, following this part. If you do, if you cannot figure out where you are, you can always. Well, anything you do here, you reflect on this um. Um, on this 3D view, so it's like this now. So since I want to continue from here, I have to figure out where this is on the. Let me look straight. Yeah. So this is where I am. So this is where so I can continue from. Coming. Yeah. So this is it. Yes. And same thing here. Yes. And following through. Can do the same. You can see lines are straight, so that's how I do it. So click on space bar. Perfect. This is perfect. So um, the next thing we need to do is to start adding the waistband. So, <clears throat> so what I'll do first is to add an internal line here. Click on Z for edit zone. This is it. This edit pattern. Sorry. Um, click on Z and right click. Offset as internal line, yes. Um, 12, 12 is okay. So, offset as internal line 12. Um, also, we can add elastic to this. So, elastic is here. You can always find elastic here. Sorry, um, so these four lines are going to be elastic. So this is it, the elastic is here. Then um, the next thing we'll do is to layer clone over. A to hold on, this is A, yeah, transform pattern. So hold on A, right click, sorry, right click, sorry. Right click, yes, and layer clone under. Press it up. Um, also, I'm going to remove link in and uh, I'm going to remove the um elastic from this one we cloned so um remove the elastic and also we're going to remove link then it editing remove link editing double click on this line double click on this uh double click to activate pivot so or pivot so double click on this it's color the color is meant to change yes the color is meant to change to um orange then stretch it a bit yeah, that is it showing there. So next thing we are going to click is B or edit zone. This is edit zone here. So B is edit zone. So tap on the line and and delete the zone. 
then we are going to resolve so we can start with segment swing by clicking on n n is segment swing n yes and n is yes, segment swing n and n is yes, segment swing so let's go back um let me see this so the next thing we'll do is to super impose on that in the 3d view you can do this in the 3d view so what you need to do is to right click again click on this right click then um, super impose on that yes also during this teaching too you can also um change this make this turned so hold on b i'll be click on b sorry when you click on b tap on the sewing line and make sure this is turned yes do this for the one below two yes and change it to turn so since this is perfect what we'll do next is to um let's click on q and we're going to freeze all this I'm going to freeze all this um freeze space bar so now this is perfect so uh we can freeze this we can unfreeze yes unfreeze then to see the wrinkles around the waist it's not showing here to see the wrinkles around the waist so what we need to do is to um yeah reduce the particle so we can click on ctrl a um ctrl a then you reduce it to five then click on spacebar So this is it. So this is the waistband when it moves. So as you can see, this is it around the waist. So this is how it is. And if you think it's too much, you can always reduce it to ten depending on how much you want the wrinkles to be around the waist of the um design so this is how to do the first um waistband so let's move to the second waistband so this is the second part of the waistband so let's assume you want to create um a waistband to just the sides of this um of this waist you don't want to put a full waistband, you just want to create only at the side or the other side. So this I are going to do it. First of all, we're going to do it the um other way around. First, we're going to add an internal line, but not um horizontal but vertical. So what you need to do is to click on G to add internal line. This is internal line, G internal line. So we have to add it around here. So I have to figure out where is the side here. Double click. Uh, let me look for the internal line. Okay, I yeah, want is here. So let's let's do for this side. Um, I'm clicking on Z. Okay, is it too much to be go? So Control C, Control V to add to the other side. Uh, probably I'm right. Yep. So this is it. So what we do now is to cut. We have to cut and sew. So this is cut and sew. Yes, cut on. So, because this is the only part we want to focus on our elasticity. This is the only part we want to make elastic around the waist. So, what you do now is to create an internal line. I just create one internal line. Yes, uh, let's put that at the center. Okay. I also make it elastic. I make it elastic. Sorry. um where is this uh, elastic is on here so um the next thing we'll do is to layer clone under which is here i'm going to remove elasticity of it also right click to remove um linkedin 
I'll be linked to everything. Sorry. Double click yes to stretch. And um, we are going to delete the sewing. Delete sewing. Um, I'm going to do segment sewing, which is N year to year, year to year, and year to not this side, but this side. Because if you do year to year, it's going to fold that side together. So it's year to year. Yes, this is supposed to be. So that's different between this and the other one we did. So um then what we have to do is we have to layer clone under here. Right click. The superimpose under, sorry. Then let's try to hold this freeze this part. Freeze. Yeah. Space bar. Yo. You can see this. So um to make this perfect, we have to increase the particles or reduce the particles, sorry, um to five. Okay, this is ten already. So let's make it five. Enter space bar. So this is just how we're going to look like around the way we are creating. So the same thing we did here, you can also do at the other side to create a waistband, depending on which side you want to create a waistband around the um around the trouser, around the waist. Come in. So I'm going to unfreeze. It has a lot. It has a lot of wrinkles. So this is just how it to look like. This is it. So this is just creating a one-sided waistband around the uh, waist. So depending on where you want to put it, front, back, side, this is just how you do it. So thank you for watching this tutorial on waistband. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button, share, and you can also drop your questions or video requests in the comment section. See you next time.